the new theatre present their adaptation of James Joyce's A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, which is running at the London Irish Centre in Camden, the 1st to the 11th of August. You can book now at slicedevents.com. Now, appearing in the production is Sam McGovern, who joins me online. Sam, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Real pleasure, Sam. Now, Sam, annually on the 16th of uh, June, the life of James Joyce is celebrated through the Bloomsday uh, commemoration. But uh, this year marks the 100th anniversary since the publication of the iconic uh, portrait novel. Now, it must give you and the rest of the cast uh, and the publication of the uh, iconic uh, portrait, it must give you and the rest of the cast and the company some great pride to be adopting it for the stage. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and in the last couple of years, the copyright of Joyce also went out the window. So that means there's a lot of really innovative uh, works popping up to do with uh, Joyce's work that previously wouldn't have been authorised. But um, yeah, we did it in the Pavilion Theatre in Dunleary, where I'm from. For any diehard Joyce fans, they'll know that that's where the book uh, Ulysses starts off. So it's an absolute pleasure to do what is actually my favourite book and the most accessible Joyce book, arguably, uh, for audiences all around, yeah. Oh, excellent. Now, the play is directed by one of Ireland's leading theatre directors, Jimmy Fay, who's a, who's artistic director of uh, the Lyric Theatre Belfast. Uh, what were the challenges of uh, actually adopting this for the stage? Well, this was adapted in uh, 2013. The adaption is by a man named Tony Chesterman, and the cast and director, Jimmy Fay have sort of um, taken elements of the book that they feel would lend itself to uh, a, a visual performance. So people who enjoy the book or, or even people who don't will see things they recognise and um, bits, of course, that uh, even we wanted to be in the play and may, mightn't have made the final cut. But um, Jimmy has been fantastic and it's something that the cast and crew uh, all kind of put their heart and soul into and because it, really the writing is the best thing about it and it really does the work for you. So it's been a joy and I think it, it really lends itself well to the stage. Excellent. Now you've had uh, some excellent reviews and audience reaction, not only in Ireland, but uh, following on from uh, the Celtic Festival in Mould, Wales, also in Paris, was the reaction with the, the French audience, for example, any different to the Irish? Well, I should say I'm actually only been involved uh, over the last year. I took over from an actor and wasn't part of the original ensemble. I actually went to see the show in its original run at the New Theatre in Dublin and loved it so much and then was chuffed when they asked me to be involved. But I hear that um, when, they, when the cast did the show in Paris, it was packed out. They did it in a church of all places, and uh, anyone who sees the show or knows the book will that will know that there are quite, some quite racy themes to do with the Catholic Church and uh, sort of oppression and being free from that and, and making one's own, forging one's own uh, conscience. Um, but the reception in France went down very well. As, as everyone knows, a lot of Ireland's writers, and Joyce included, um, set up shop in places um, in mainland Europe in order to write so well about Dublin. So it went down very well with audiences all around, yeah. Great. Now, uh, the, a portrait, it reveals the youth of Joyce's alter ego, Stephen uh, Dedalus, and his uh, struggles growing up in 19th century Ireland. Uh, how Can you expand on how this will be showcased? Well, I think it'll be good to see for anyone. Obviously, this, as you say, this is the centenary of the book's publication, and it really gives a slice of what life was like in Dublin in the early uh, 19th century. So it's the first half of the show really deals with Joyce as a child, uh, sort of the influences of, of his family and language. And it's very much written in, the, in a way that um, sort of gets across that childhood. But the best thing I love about it is that the book actually grows up with Stephen as he gets older. So it starts off with sort of baby flowery language and then it gets into when he's a teenager and he's a little more pretentious. Um, but it really sort of encapsulates the artist's journey and it really sort of uh, touches on many abstract ideas which are dealt with very interestingly in the play by the lighting design and also the cast of five playing different characters. But I think once the audience kind of tunes into it, it, it rolls very smoothly and gives an idea of that sort of coming of age and sort of becoming one's own person within uh, any given society, particularly Ireland. Right. Now, interestingly enough, the part of uh, Stephen uh, Dedalus is uh, taken by a woman, Lauren Farrell. What is the impact of uh, having a female in the role? Absolutely. And Lauren had worked with director Jimmy Fay prior to this adaptation, so I knew they were keen on working on something together. And I remember when I first met Lauren, um, she told me she was working on this, playing Stephen Dedalus. And it being my favourite book, I told her how jealous I was. 
so I'm just delighted to be involved in it now to see what she's doing with the part. But I think one of the best things about it, it's not specifically any sort of gender statement, although with the recent Waking the Feminists movement in Ireland for representation for women in Irish theatre, I think it's a really sort of a strong and bold move. But one thing I like about it is that when Stephen is a child, you believe it much more easily than, say, if a man was playing the part because she looks more youthful in the glasses and, and clothes and her higher voice would lend itself to it. So it really is something that I think disappears with the performance and adds another element to it at the same time. Right, and what part are you actually playing yourself, Sam? So I play Cranley, who is basically Joyce's, um, Stevens, I should say, uh, best friend once he uh, hits his college years. And Cranley is based on a man named John Francis Byrne, uh, who was Joyce's best friend in college as well. So the show kind of blurs the lines between that. I introduce myself as John Francis Byrne, but say, you know, I try to change uh, Stephen Joyce's mind to leave the country, but he rewards me by changing my name to the much posher Cranley. So it's that duality of, you know, are we, are we talking about James Joyce? Are we talking about Stephen Dedalus? But I sort of adopt um, a narrator role, and Cranley is narrating the show from a distance, as well as playing some of the characters once we hit the Christmas dinner table and, and other exciting scenes like that as well. Right. Now, one of the most powerful scenes uh, depicts eternal damnation. Uh, well, what uh, techniques are you using to portray this? Well, the excellent Charlie Hughes uh, dons a uh, priest vestment and uh, looks very, very scary and uh, is a real fire and brimstone speech. Again, in the book is the, the very long hell sequence where Stephen goes on an annual retreat with, with his girlfriend and he has recently been attending uh, a brothel and having very sort of formative uh, sexual experiences and he has to weigh that against his own conscience and the dam- the damning report from the preacher. So um, we have a very interesting lighting design and a very excellent performance, as I must say, from the ensemble, having seen it the first time round before I was involved. But it's a very, very effective piece that some people in Ireland found very all too familiar having grown up in that setting. You know, it brings us back to a time when things weren't as uh, as open and free as we welcome them being today. Indeed. Now, we, we touched on uh, some of the themes such as religion and a desire to find out about uh, other cultures from 100 years ago. Do you consider these issues are still uh, pertinent? I think I do. With, with everything being cast into the mixing bowl now in terms of social and religious issues, and Ireland has come a very long way, I think it's a very interesting time to be to be alive and to be Irish. We've seen more transformative moves in the last uh, half of this century than, than any time in the, in the nation's history, certainly the state's history. Um, so I think the piece really sort of will resonate with any audience. It's, it's about, you know, coming of age. Um, anyone who, who, who has or hasn't read the book, I think, will enjoy it in terms of it's, it's very much sort of a, a coming of age story. But anyone who isn't maybe of, of that sort of bracket age, say, zero to, 20, to the early 20s, will enjoy that slice of Dublin that, was, that is depicted and the various kind of influences and ideas that permeated Ireland in that time and in some respects uh, still do today. Right. The new theatre company, can you tell us just a little bit about that? So the new theatre has been going since the late 90s and it gives a home in Temple Bar, Dublin, to sort of emerging artists, uh, writers, directors and actors. In fact, when I know that when this piece, uh, when Portrait was first done as a table read, a public reading at the new theatre, it would have had sort of more established Abbey actors and um, people who've been in the game for a while, but producer and artistic director Anthony Fox said he he didn't want that to be the final um, sort of cast in the in the portrait piece because it would go against what the new theatre is about. It sort of is about encouraging new artists, but if they've been absolutely fantastic. I'd encourage anyone in Dublin to check them out, and otherwise it's um, they're just a fantastic company for the, for the emergence of, of new work. Excellent. I'm, I'm sure it'll be all very, very well received. Uh, James Joyce is a portrait of the artist as a young man is brought to the stage first on the 11th of August by the new theatre. Tickets are available online from www.slicedevents.com. Sam, listen, wish you every success and uh, looking forward to uh, uh, seeing you coming to uh, the uh, Irish Centre in Camden. Thank you so much, Jerry. All the best. Sam, thank you indeed.